So it's a little bit of everything, but it, really think about it as a global community that started, you know, with just you know me and my co-founder building this this product, but has really grown to over 700 million people, 12 million in Spain, which is also very exciting to see that growth as well in the last year. And it's all about creating those connections that don't have to just be about your friends. It's great that your friends are on Instagram, and that's important, but it could also be you know a Spanish person connecting with somebody in Indonesia, an American person connecting to somebody in Brazil, and that really creates a sense of that global community. We don't see a reason why, in the, like ultimately, hopefully, as many people as possible are on are on Instagram. It's something that we think is, you know, globally accessible. We try to keep it very simple. We try to keep the language to a minimum, so it's truly international. And we believe images are how people really think and how they want to communicate. We think a lot about well-being, and it's something that from the very, very, very beginning we cared a lot about, and we'll continue to invest in. So we look at things like campaigns that we can do to highlight positive things that are happening on Instagram. We did one around mental health just a couple of months ago. And we also look at the control that we can give each account. So if there's somebody who's you know, being mean or is being negative, you can block them. You can control to turn off comments on your own post. You can say, I don't want these words to show up on my comments, so hide them from everybody. So giving people a lot of control is one of the most important things I think we can do around keeping people safe on Instagram. But for live, you know, which we launched recently, I, I see the wide open future around how do you create that feeling of being as close as possible to the um, to the, the broadcaster as as you can, and that's everything from what we do with video, what we do with reactions and participation. But that product is something that you'll see us invest a lot in the next coming years. So we have a new campaign called Gen Insta Takeover, and the whole idea is to connect. Um, teenage creators on Instagram who are working in illustration and music and photography and connect them with organizations and brands and get them to take over these organizations accounts and post you know content that's relevant but also with their own voice and style um, so we're launching that today and over the coming weeks and months you'll start seeing these collaborations happen with El País with other places that can create these fun interactions between that community and these you know brands and organizations that reach a very wide group